Hi, I'm Dan O'Connor for Hydro Armor Systems. I'm here today to talk about wet basements. I'm not an actor. Darn it. Try that again. Dan O'Connor of Hydro Armor Systems and I'm here to talk about basement waterproofing and structural issues that you might have with your foundation. Now what the hell am I doing standing out in the middle of a field? This is where it all begins. Many people believe the water comes from your yard, your downspouts, your grating. These enhance or add to the problem that you have, but they're not the cause. Whenever it rains, the water does not go down into the earth and disappear forever. The earth has different layers in it. This field has different layers in it. Topsoils, sands, and then you have a harder soil. It could be rock, shale, or clay. This would be your topsoil, and then you have a sand and a clay. Water percolates down through the topsoils until it hits a harder soil, which has peaks and valleys. The water will accumulate in a valley, and if that level of earth is pitched, now you get an underground artery, capillary, or vein that runs underground. The water is going somewhere. To a brook, a stream, a river, to the ocean, becomes humidity, goes up into the atmosphere, and then falls down as rain again. The earth recycles her water. If you look around your neighborhood, somewhere nearby, there is a brook, a stream, a river, or a body of water. That's where the water is flowing. And if you have water in your basement, your foundation is in the way. Imagine your neighborhood as this empty field before anything was built. A builder came along, put in some roads, built some houses. Whenever a builder builds a house, he digs a hole. Severed the layers, the water would pour out, all to the bottom, hit that footer, water seeks its own level. It's gonna work its way all the way around the house, then build up. Even though the home has been backfilled for 30 or 50 or 100 years, the earth in here is just a loose soil. This earth has been here since the beginning of time. The water will still come out, will still fall to the bottom, and it will work its way all the way around your house and it will still build up. Many people might say, well, we didn't have water for 30 years because water has acid in it. Foundation might last for a certain amount of years, then it will get water. Concrete block, cinder block corrodes. How does that happen? To make cement, you take a limestone, you cook a limestone, you crush a limestone, you get a powder and you get a dust. And the dust was sold to farmers because lime dust, <laughs> hydro dog is making a mess. Try that again. So the dust was sold to farmers because lime is a natural neutralizer of acid. The farmers would put it on the soil, it would neutralize the acid, and the vegetables will grow. To make cement, you take one part of the powder and three parts of common sand. You mix that together and you get a very weak mixture. But if you take a third of a third of the lime dust, add that to the mixture, that's what gives it the strength to hold it together. When you get acid water, it causes a reaction with the lime and the cement. The lime begins to leach out. The more that leaches out, the weaker weaker the original mixtures become, the water builds up out here. The acid will break down this original tar. Block is porous. The water is going to start to penetrate inside of the wall, falls down into that hollow core, builds up in the hollow core, goes to the next, to the next, to the next, all the way around. Then you get hydrostatic pressure inside of the walls. Concrete block, cinder block corrodes, becomes soft. As it corrodes over the years, you get little pinholes. The water is inside these blocks. The little pinholes allow the water to start coming inside. The bottom of the walls become soft. The water comes in and up inside of the house. So now, not only do you have water, but you have water and mud. The weight of that water and the mud cause lateral pressure, which cause horizontal cracks. In the wintertime, when that water rises up above the frost line, it freezes. When water freezes, it expands. The earth that's been there since the beginning of time is not going anywhere. The foundation will. Any kind of horizontal crack just grows. Lateral pressure just push this wall in. Now this is the part of the wall I'm going to repair. Down here, I'm going to replace. This is a structural repair that will prevent this from ever happening. When the clay levels do not get enough water, they dry up. The clay's underground crack. The next time it rains, water finds a new path. Water is always changing directions based on times of great water or times of drought. Another cause is somewhere in your neighborhood or somewhere nearby or somewhere off in the distance, somebody built something, disturbed the way the water flows, and now it's coming to your house. 